Hi friends, I'm Kavita. Yesterday we discussed the logic of this program and today we'll see how to print this pattern in C language. So without any further delay, let's begin the class. Now we know to print a star, we simply write print F and this. The logic is same as before with slight change in it. We discussed that we used two loops yesterday. So one was the outer for loop that was working for the number of lines and one was the inner loop which was used for printing these stars, the number of times these star will be printed. So now let's see how many lines we have, how many rows we have. We have first row, we have second row, third row, fourth row and fifth row. And if you notice that first row has only one star. Second row has only two stars. Third row has three stars. Okay, means the number of rows, the number of stars are printed. So this is the logic. Yesterday, we have seen that we used J variable for the outer loop and I variable for the inner loop. So if I take for loop here, and this is the inner for loop which is printing these stars. So inner for loop is working. Now see here. Inner for loop is printing stars the number of times the row was there. The number of the value of j. So i should be less than equals to j. And then i plus plus. This we did yesterday. We wrote here i is less than 5 but today we wrote i is less than j. Why? Because the value of j is equals to number of stars in each line. Now the outer for loop is same. Okay, j is going from 1 till 5. 5 lines it has to print. So value of j will go from 1 till 5 and j plus plus and yesterday also we noticed that to go to the next line we use the escape sequence which is your print f backslash n and the entire this entire code will come underneath it so this was the logic for now this let's program see how it works so, first time j is 1, control will enter here, i is 1, condition will be checked, is 1 less than 1, yes, true, so a star will be printed and next time the value of i is updated and i will be 2, again the comparison will be done, is 2, this time i is 2. 2 is less than equals to 1, condition gets false. So this star will not be printed. And this line will execute, a gap of line will come, your cursor will come at this position. Now, j is equals to 2, control will again go here, i will be 1, condition will be checked, is 1 less than equals to 2? Yes, it's true. So a star will be printed. Now i will be updated. i will be 2. Again condition will be checked. Is 2 less than equals to 2? Yes, it's true. So this star will be printed. Now i will be 3 updated. Again comparison will be done. Is 3 less than equals to 2? So the condition gets false this star will not be printed and this line will be executed. Your cursor will come here. Now again, j equals to 3 and your flow of control will enter here. i will be equals to 1. Condition will be checked. Is 1 less than equals to 3? Yes, it's true. So a star will be printed. Next time, the value of i will be incremented and it's 2 now. Again, comparison will be done. 2 is less than equals to 3. Yes, it's true. 
so a star will be printed here now again the value of i will be incremented and this time it is 3 comparison will be done is 3 less than equals to 3 yes it's true so a third star will appear here then value of i will be incremented to 4 is 4 less than equals to 3 condition gets false so our flow of control will come here and this line will not be executed and you'll get a break of line so similarly it will go up till this and print this star after this means your value of j is 6 when incremented value of j will be 6 after executing this so your j will be 6 j is 6 is 6 less than equals to 5 condition gets false so these lines will not be executed your program will end over here and you will get this pattern in c language so that's it all i hope you enjoyed the video and understood the concept very well see you in the next video till then bye bye take care